welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to show you how we make our French onion pot roast. Mm. And I absolutely love the smell of a pot roast in a slow cooker cooking all day long. It is the most comforting yeah, smell. And mommy has a boo-boo and she's bleeding. Mommy had a boo-boo. Mommy had a little accident in the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks for telling everybody. Anyway, I love the smell of a pot roast in a slow cooker all day long, and it is a memory that I will cherish from my childhood forever. So honestly, I hope that every kid has that experience and that memory to look back on, and you can use this recipe to create that tradition. Yeah. So we are gonna get started. And right now we have our crock pot. Now I have a crock pot that I can set to sear, but if you don't, you can actually do this just right on your stove top. You just put it, up, put your stove on high, and you could you could cook your or sear your uh, pot roast right in the frying pan. Okay, but we're gonna do this right here. So first, we are going to start with our Himalayan pink salt. We have coarse Himalayan pink salt, and we're gonna sprinkle that all over the top. I like to use coarse salt because I think it creates that really delicious crust. Some over here on your pot roast when you sear it. Okay, so spread that around there. Oh, this is gonna be fun, huh? This is gonna be Okay, so now don't touch the salt again until mommy washes your hands here. Okay, mommy's gonna sprinkle the salt. Okay. Well, you can touch this. Okay, and then you put, put some freshly ground black pepper all over that, okay? All right, and then we're gonna flip this over. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's put our flour on it first. Yeah, can then I you're just going to sprinkle the flour, yep, sprinkle it on, and spread that over. You almost forgot that step, holy moly. Okay, you just spread that out nice. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over. Okay, now mommy's gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle the salt and you rub it in. Okay, there we go. You wanna make sure it has lots of salt on there. Okay, spread that. Very good. Okay, it's getting all over your shirt. No, wait, no, wait. Here, you, go, you clean off your hands. Mommy's gonna do pepper. Do you wanna finish the pepper off? Huh? Finish it off, go ahead. Do some pepper. Oh, you want to get it on the sides? Yeah. Excellent job. Okay, mommy's going to sprinkle on. Mommy. You sprinkle. Sprinkle, mm -hmm. sprinkle. Go ahead. Very good. All right, now rub that all over the meat. Now I'm just going to get some olive oil right here in our crock pot. And as I said, it is set to sear, so it's super hot here. Okay, we're all good. So I am gonna pick this beef roast up, and hold on, mommy's gonna stick it right in here, and you're gonna hear it sizzle, you ready? Okay, so you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna steer, sear, I'm sorry, sear your pot roast on all sides. So on either side for about four minutes a piece, and then you wanna flip it onto the sides and just hold it so that it can sear for like two, two minutes. Okay, honey, mommy, we'll clean it up. As this is cooking, let's clean it up. Okay, mommy's gonna wash her hands. It's okay. You're really getting into your work today, huh? Aren't you? Okay, put this over here. Mommy's watching the time here. You gonna clean up for mommy? Let's not wipe it onto the floor though, okay? Wipe it into a pile. That's mommy teach you. Wipe it into a pile and then we'll clean it all up. Okay? Okay, so while this is cooking, we are going to be making our liquid. And all we do for that is we have four cups of hot water, and then we're going to have two packets of Lipton onion soup. Okay, let mommy rip it, and then you pour it in. 
No, it's like this thing. Pour that into the water. Make sure it all gets in there. Mmm, yummy. You want to try to open this one? Okay, so you rip like this. Okay, so rip that top off. Very good. Okay, now pour that one in. Okay, and what do you think we should do with this? Uh, mix it. Very good. You mix that up really good for Mama, okay? Good job. There's some at the bottom. Okay, those are the onions. Now don't mix it too rough because it'll splash all over. We don't want that to happen. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we've got a couple more minutes and we're going to flip this over. Okay guys, we're back and our roast has now seared for about four minutes on both sides and then two minutes on every side just to kind of get that crust on the, the roast itself. And what you want to see is a nice brown crust form on the outside of your entire roast. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this down to slow. Slow. And we are going to pour this soup in. Make sure we get all those onions out. Okay, so you just pour your soup mixture over your roast. And now you're gonna you're gonna push the buttons. Are you? We don't have to clean that out yet. I'm gonna wash it. Okay. So we have it to slow. We're gonna hit. You want to hit set. So we're putting it on high, and then push this button. Keep pushing it until it gets to eight. Keep going. Right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eight. So we're gonna put this on for eight hours, and then push start. This one right here, start. Okay, and we're going to just cover it up and we're gonna let it cook. And the smell in our house is gonna be absolutely amazing in just about an hour. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below before, so that you can gain access to all of our future videos. We will be posting the recipe ingredients in the description below. Make sure you check those out. And we'll be placing a link to our blog post where you can see the entire recipe. And also make sure you check us out at skyscalimitlifestyle.com. Thanks so much, guys, and take care. Bye.